so, <laughs> so I had stem cells shot in my penis and oh, in, wow. in my face. I had microneedling with something called PRP and um, stem cell treatment on my face and then on my scalp for hair loss. And so I got basically just like the <laughs> full on uh, treatment and <laughs> at a pretty early age led to getting into drugs as, as a means by which to cope with the trauma and the shame and all of the, the hurt that I experienced as a result of the abuse. And so I became a drug addict at a really early age. And that led me into getting into crime and breaking into houses and doing all the things that I had to do in order to supply myself with my anesthesia, you know? And wow. so, so I came out and I was a good kid. I stopped robbing houses and <laughs> stealing things and, and, and doing, you know, crimes of that nature that were against other people. But I got into drugs and then eventually that led me to moving to Hollywood when I was 19 years old. And then I really went crazy. I got a fake ID and I started playing in rock and roll bands and hanging out with all of these rock stars that I had, you know, worshipped in high school and just had this really fun but tragic existence in Hollywood for six years. And, um, you know, I had some really close calls of success in the music industry. And Thanks. that day, you know, that February 15th, 1997, I was struck sober and uh, and have been ever since. It's 21 Jeez. years later. And no way. never once again had a craving for drugs or alcohol or anything. It was just put in this strangely protective bubble and then got really involved from that point in health and spirituality and uh, just doing detoxes and cleanses and saunas and all of the health fads that were in vogue in the late 90s mm. and uh, and also going to India and learning to meditate and just really, really working on myself because I wanted to be happy. I wanted to be healthy and more than anything in the world, I wanted to remain sober and so I eventually become a fashion stylist myself. And I did that for 17 years here in LA and just dressed hundreds and hundreds of amazing artists, musicians, and actors, and things like that. And uh, and that became my <laughs> career. client that I had for the longest period of time, which is, I don't know, probably two, three years or something, was Marilyn Manson. And that wow. was wow. kind of around the mid to late 2000s. So he wasn't in his prime as he was like in the late or mid to late 90s when he yeah. was like having a lot of hits and was a really big deal. But he still had a massive and still does a massive cult following and tours mm. and is quite successful doing that. But working with him was probably the most fun because I got to be really wow. creative and we're both the yeah. same age and we're the same size and we understand the same cultural references and things like that. So, uh, but I'm, you know, I'm really into the stuff that's kind of in alignment with nature. So I think to, to summarize like my favorite biohacks, there's, there's the infrared sauna and then there's getting sun exposure on my whole body as much as possible, mm. doing the ice baths, doing cryotherapy, uh, avoiding blue light and artificial light after dark, like the plague. Mm. I mean, I literally, I'm either wearing some kind of blue blocking glasses or having orange or red light in my house. All of my devices are all hacked. So they turn red at night. I don't have any blue light. Uh, you know,